Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNC. And right now, I want to talk to you about UiPath, UiPath Studio to be exact. And I just wanted to show you how to take a file, in this case, it's going to be a CSV file, and how to write it into Excel. So I want to just want to take a basic CSV file and write it into an Excel file. So that means creating a new process. I'm going to call it CSV to Excel. And I guess that's a lot of capital letters there, but I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to create the project. And as soon as the project starts up, I'm going to open the main workflow window. And from here, well, the first thing I'd like to do is just read a CSV file. So you can find that under app integration CSV, say read CSV file. Now, if you didn't know, it tends to look for CSV files right in the root of the project. And there isn't any CSV files in the root of that project right now. So I'm going to go in there and actually add some in. So there's the CSV to Excel. I'm going to create a new file in here. Actually, I accidentally hit new Excel file, but I'm actually going to need that. So, and I'm just going to make that XLS. So I'm actually going to need that. So the fact that I hit that by accident actually works for me. But what I was trying to do was actually create a, a new text document, which all the input is going to be in that's of type CSV. And for a lot of these examples, I just use a list of my favorite Toronto talk show radio personalities. So I find this file here that's got all sorts of names like John Moore and Mike Stafford and John Tory. That's all in this input CSV file I've added here. You can add any files that you want, first name and last name are the columns. And what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to, I don't know, and in this example, I'm just going to push all of this into the Excel file, namely that output dash file dot XLS. So how do I do that with UiPath? So I just come in here, I've added the read CSV option onto the page. I go and point to the input file dot CSV that I just created. Notice it's there now inside of the project. And as you're working on this, it wants to save it to a variable, right? It wants to read all of this data in and then save it to a local variable so that the data can be passed around the program. Now, in order to do that, you have to declare a variable. And I'm going to declare this variable input because that's what it is. And so type data table. You have to browse for types, type in data table, and you'll find the system version for data table right there. I click OK. And so input will be a variable that will hold data in a table-like format. So when you read in the CSV and it says, where do you want to output all of this to? I'm just going to output it into that variable named input. Okay, so now I've read that CSV file. What do I want to do next? Well, the next thing I want to do is I want to write it to an actual Excel file. So how do we do that? Well, we go down into our Excel options and you would think that you would say write range or write cell or something like that, but you'd be wrong. Because the first thing you need to do is you actually need to create an Excel application scope object. So we go from reading the CSV to doing something within the scope of an Excel application. And there we go. It says, well, what workbook are you going to be working with? Which Excel file? And of course, we created an Excel file called output file.xls. There's nothing in there right now, it's just blank. But that's the one we're going to work with. And what do you want to do? Well, the thing I want to do is I want to write a range of cells. And what am I going to call it? Well, I guess I'll call the sheet Toronto Talk. And where I'm going to start it? Well, maybe I'll start it on B4. No, I'm not going to do that because it sounds like the word before. Um, and what table are we outputting there? Well, we're outputting that table that was stored in that local variable called input right up here, right? So we read from the file, we had a variable called input, and then we actually open up the Excel file, and then we create a new sheet called Toronto Talk, and we push that data into it. And we're gonna start that data over in the cell C5. Okay, so I'm gonna click Control S there. You can also just click Save All, and I'm now gonna run this file and see what happens. Hopefully I don't get any error messages. So everything looks like it ran properly. And now we'll go into this project, take a look at this output file. And you notice that when Excel opens it, you'll see that I've got a sheet called Toronto Talk. And I've got all of the files that were originally in my CSV file now stored in Excel. And there you go. That's how easy it is. 
And there you go, that's everything there is to converting a CSV file into an Excel file. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. Got lots of great tutorials over there about everything to do with enterprise software. If you wanna keep up with my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And like always, I suggest that you subscribe on YouTube.